Who China supposed to fit in this? The way this punani set up. We full grown women over here. What's good? It's your girl Courtney B here and I'm back with yet another video. If you guys are new to my channel, what's up? My name is B. Hello, nice to meet ya. As you guys can tell by the title, you already know it's about to go down, honey. I have not done a clothing haul on my channel. It's been a couple of months. If you guys subscribed from that video, I got you. I done came back to my roots, honey. I did not forget about y'all. We got another clothing haul coming for y'all on today. You feel me? Today I'm bringing you guys an African mall haul. And you guys did see me review some of the hair a couple of days ago if you guys have not seen that video i'll link that video above in the cards and also down below in the description box as well we done dabbled with the little wiggy wig now we're gonna get into these clothes these threads these fiddles i think fiddles is food if you guys have not already subscribe to the channel down below join the beehive gang the beehive fam because we are lit you've been binge watching me constantly yeah i've been seeing you so why you not subscribing sis i'm utterly confused subscribe you you like it here i promise <laughs> let's just jump right into this haul honey when you first receive your package it's gonna come in a bag like this they sent me a pretty good amount of goodies first item oh girl what y'all done did y'all done gave me a two-piece bathing suit why y'all did me like that they sent me this nice little crop top oh it got pads in the chest Y'all knew I ain't had no titties, huh? It has padding in the bra area. It came with a nice little bottom that I'm guessing is supposed to go a little high up. You know how sometimes those Instagram girls have like those um really, really high stretched and high strong bikinis and all that good stuff and thongs. The way this punani set up, I can't fit nothing. Who China supposed to fit in this? We full grown women over here. <laughs> The top definitely does feel like a swimsuit material, but I can already tell I'm not going to be wearing this as a bathing suit. The base part of the shirt portion does feel like a bathing suit material, and the arms are mesh. In the back of the bottoms, it has like a nice little ruching detail if you can see um it kind of gives the illusion of you having like a more firmer and rounder butt i think this shirt will look really really good with like some high-waisted flare out jeans and i think i have some in my closet somewhere i've really been into snake print cheetah print cow print this is the one trend that the world has created that i have been in love with with i cannot let it go looking at my closet straight ahead i see so many cheetah so many snakes it's ridiculous i have been dying to get my hands on these nice little snake skin biker shorts i was so happy to see that they had this on the site but what i'm seeing right off the bat these are very very see-through either you can't wear any draws yes i said empty or wear like a really dark thong to where you can't really see much through this or you can probably actually wear some some high briefs to kind to hide the fact that you know that the pants are see-through that don't really bother me as long as you can't see my catnip and straighten my booty hole i'm good what i love about these animal print biker shorts is that they can be dressed up or dressed down now this particularly can be paired up with like a nice white bodysuit with like some nice kitten heels some gold accessories and just make it your own and also dress it down with some trainers and then you're good to go if i have not mentioned it already everything in this haul is going to be in the size small next item that i have oh now this is sexy girl Girl, this is a dress really really low cut oh my gosh this is low cut the low cut halter topped ribbed white dress this looks like this is gonna be bomb on me only issue we may have is i don't have any titties y'all like i'm really straight up and down by the chest like there's nothing up here i mean i have a little bit but it's not enough to really go flawless because there's no back to this sis when you have like them perky sit up on their own tight titties dresses like this would just accentuate that like these dresses are made for you but people like me i'm not gonna get some tape and stick these bad boys up and try to make some titties this dress will be perfect for like a date night, a nice all white party event, even a wedding if you really want to take it there. I mean, if you want to take it there, you can take it there, sis. You ain't got to be modest because it's the bride's day. If you just so happen to look better than the bride, then hey, step it up, bride. I'm not really sure right now how I'm going to style this dress, but I see something, you know, a little, a little sachet in his future, you know what I'm saying? The next item I have is another pair of biker shorts, but you already know I had to get them in the cheetah print. What's good? All right, Zane and Jane in this mug. All I know is just stay tuned for the styling portion and the Instagram pictures 
with these outfits. It's going to be lit. Also, the same problem with these as well as the snake skin is that they're a little bit see-through. Like I told y'all before, that don't really bother me. Or just wear some really, really dark seamless underwear and you're good to go. These also have a really, really good stretch. I can tell if they're gonna be kind of high-waisted. I have a very, very short torso. So it may look as if I have my shorts pulled up to my freaking chest, but I'm just short. I am actually 4'11", 5 feet on a good day. Next item that I have, what is this kind of print called? I'm not sure. This dress is giving me clueless vibes. Like this type of patchwork or detailing or print or whatever you want to call this. Feels the way it looks. When you picture this type of material, you know what that feeling is. It's like that nice soft material. This dress is very soft. It is extremely stretchy. That is the trend that I'm seeing with all these pieces is that they're very snug and that they're very, they're very stretchy. So these pieces are meant to accentuate every curve you have on your body, which I think it is also very important for you guys to wear a girdle. You may say, oh, Courtney, you small. Baby girl, I don't care if you are a size zero. You do not want to jiggle. I don't care how big or how small you are. Now when you get home, you can jiggle all you want to, baby girl. When I get home, that house dress is coming on. When I get home, honey, that house dress is on standby. And I'm jiggling and jangling all around this mug. Do you feel me? But when you're out in public, baby, and you dress up, put you on something that's gonna smooth you. A little girl tip one-on-one, -on -one, period. Sometimes when I get dresses or shirts that are meant to show some cleavage, straps are so freakishly long to wear, it shows either too much or or it just makes me look like I'm trying too hard. So when dresses or shirts come with like these adjustable straps, that's a big plus to me. I can definitely make this like a nice little casual, going out to eat, a little brunch type of dress. Oh girl, we got some more snake print. What is this? Girl, we got some more snake print. What you say, what you say now? Oh girl, they done sent me a dress. This is the dress that they sent me. Now it may not look like nothing now. It has the drop detailing in the front of the boob, lower back drop in the back. I don't know if you guys watch her. Her channel is called All Things Lisa. If you guys have not heard of her, I will leave her channel down below in the description box. You must check her out. She is the one that really turned me on to these dresses and it has a very high slit now the only problem that i'm seeing off rip is that this is very very see-through probably gonna wear some type of spanx or some type of spanx type of grease because this is very very sheer the next item that i'm going to show y'all is actually a dress it's something that i wore in my last two bougie on a budget videos the part one and the part two if you guys have not seen those videos out of those videos also above in the cards and down below in the description box y'all gotta make sure y'all check that out trust me i saw y'all's comments everyone's asking about where i got that dress from i couldn't really tell it then that dress in those videos those were in fact from African Mall. When I say that dress was fitting me, it's like this nice, stretchy motorsport type material. You know what I'm talking about. If y'all see the material, then y'all will know exactly what I'm talking about. What I love about this dress the most is the fact that it get, that it gives you the option to zip it up all the way up to the neck, or you can make it sexy and kind of seductive by unzipping it and controlling the amount of cleavage that you would like to show. You can make this a deep V-neck or make kind of like a, a little peep show, you know what I mean? A little, a little peep, a little bow peep. I feel like black is just always a staple item you should have in your closet no matter what. You can go out to eat with this and dress it up, put on some nice, heels and like a nice duster jacket you can do a lot of things with this dress i'm not really a big fan of the long sleeve shirt that has the holes for your thumb that's just me but if you guys like that look then by all means and even if you guys do not like that look that's not a reason to not get the dress i just pull the sleeves back and just don't use the the thumb holes it's not the big of a deal this dress is also from african mall it's made the same way with the thumb hole but you guys cannot even tell i literally just slid the dress down and now I'm good to go. The next item is kind of similar to the dress that I just showed, but it's actually a two-piece black motorsport set. These shorts are definitely not as see-through as the snake and cheetah print market shorts that I showed a little bit earlier because they are a little bit of a thicker material. And as far as the top, the top is a crop top. I've kind of been into crop tops lately. I don't know why, because I'm not really built like that. This is also a set that can be dressed up or dressed down. Pretty simple, pretty basic. The best thing I love about cohorts, you can mix and match. You can use this particular top for a different outfit, or you can also use their particular bottom for a different outfit. You're pretty much getting three outfits for the price of one. It also gives you the option to unzip the top, which I know I'm definitely gonna do. The girls have to be out and they have to get a show. I say this item 
last for a reason. They brought the bougie on a budget to African Mall. When I came across this bag on the website, I'm like, do they not know? Do they not know the type of pressure, pressure, pressure? They brought the ore. They brought the ore to African Mall. This is the Dior saddle bag. Now, this is not advertised as the Dior saddle bag. But baby, we all know this is the front of the bag. It's this nice maroon and tannish brown type of material. The handles and everything is red. You have these straps and everything, the tassels and everything in the front. Signature D for Dior, of course. The back does not have any pockets. You're not given a pocket on the inside of the bag, but you do have a little, good little amount of space. There's just enough room in this bag to fit the things that you need, your basic necessities if you are going out. This is the strap. The bag does come with the strap already on it but I did take off the strap because this is not how I would wear this this bag is very versatile you can use it as a nice little arm purse like a little baby Louis or you can just use your straps and of course use it as a nice little crossbody either way girl they brought you bougie on a budget at African Mall all right you guys that is the end of this whole entire haul I really really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up and of course drop the channel down below join the beehive gang the beehive fam because we are lit and we are never ever bougie over here do you understand me if any of these items were your favorite let me know down below which ones you love the best if you guys have ordered from African mall before comment down below your experience with the company we would love to hear y'all's feedback get a nice little forum discussion going on down there I will leave every single item that I feature in today's video down below in the description box as well if you guys have any further video suggestions comments recommendations or all of the above please never hesitate in life please leave a down in the comment section as well i know you guys want to keep in contact with your girl because i'm your best friend you're my best friend we're all best friends so add me on instagram i mean what make sure you guys are following me on instagram and snapchat because i will be styling some of my favorite pieces from this haul on my other social media platform so y'all gotta get ready and yeah as always i love every single one of you but until next time my lovelies your crown may tilt but you never let it fall stay gilded